Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and while I know I say this a lot, today we're going to look at something really stupid. It's rare for me to yell at my computer screen when I'm reading an article. It usually takes something so mind-numbingly moronic that I just can't hold it in. And that's exactly what happened when I read the article we're going to be looking at today. From Romper we have, what is chest feeding and how does it relate to breastfeeding? Spoiler alert, they're the same goddamn thing. But that's not the reason for the video. I read stupid shit all the time without being moved to respond. Something said in this article is so awe-inspiringly moronic that I just couldn't help myself. You'll know it when we get there. Here we go. Breastfeeding is a universally known term. A mother uses her breast to feed her baby. But mothers aren't the only ones that can lactate and nourish their children, which is where a new term comes into play, chest feeding. But what is chest feeding? Is it that different from breastfeeding? Not really. Given the title of the article, you might think this is going to be the end of the story. Haha, <laughs> dear reader, you're a sucker. You see, what this article is really about is changing words. It's something that's been happening in our society for a while. If you change a word, it makes what you're talking about different. For example, if you call a retarded person mentally challenged, suddenly they're no longer retarded. They say they're going to pre-board those passengers in need of special assistance. Cripples! <laughs> Simple, honest, direct language. There's no shame attached to the word cripple that I can find in any dictionary. No shame attached to it. In fact, it's a word used in Bible translations. Jesus healed the cripples. Doesn't take seven words to describe that condition. But we don't have any cripples in this country anymore. We have the physically challenged. Is that a grotesque enough evasion for you? How about differently abled? I've heard them call that differently abled. You can't even call these people handicapped anymore. They'll say, we're not handicapped, we're handy capable. <laughs> these poor people have been bullshitted by the system into believing that if you change the name of the condition, somehow you'll change the condition. Well, hey, cousin, <laughs> doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. That was George Carlin explaining this phenomenon decades ago. I wish he'd lived long enough to see this one. It makes his example seem almost sane. Here we have an article that admits at the beginning of the second paragraph that there's no difference, but it's going to go on anyway. Internationally board-certified lactation consultant Rachel O'Brien noted on her website that chest feeding is a term often used by transgender men who nurse their babies, but are uncomfortable with the term breastfeeding. Because breasts are most often associated with women and their bodies, some transgender men may find that chest feeding is a less distressing term for how they are feeding their baby. Because women have titties, transgender men have a problem with the term breastfeeding. Jesus Christ, this is fucking stupid. Just so you know, this isn't even the dumbest part. We're still coming to that. There's a lot of controversy over the term. If both men and women have breasts, why should there be a term called chest feeding? A breast is a breast no matter your gender. Scientific American noted that both men and women can lactate. But for cisgender men, it probably won't come naturally. So why chest feeding? Okay, no, stop. While the Scientific American article they cite does say men may be able to breastfeed, the article ends with this. In short, while men may not have full-fledged breasts, they most certainly can lactate under extreme circumstances. I've seen this article cited a few times when trans men having babies is discussed. What they all fail to mention is that extreme circumstances part. What can make men lactate? Well, drug side effects and cancer mostly. Though the article does mention the possibility that extreme starvation can do it. In other words, it's exceedingly rare and certainly not normal. More importantly, it's entirely beside the point. Can't we be honest? These aren't men. They're women who say they feel like men, so they take hormones to grow a beard. No man has ever had a baby. We lack the relevant parts. You can call these people men all day long, but they were still born with a vagina, a uterus, and yes, female titties. That's why they can lactate normally. Because not all men who chest feed have breasts. In a study published by BMC Pregnancy and Childbirth, Researchers looked at the experience of transgender men through pregnancy, childbirth, and feeding their newborns. Of the 22 participants, 9 had chest masculization surgery before they conceived their babies. 6 had the surgery after they gave birth, 5 wanted the surgery in the future, and 2 participants didn't want the surgery at all. According to the Philadelphia Center for Transgender Surgery, chest masculization surgery includes removing female breasts to create male chest, but it doesn't remove all of the mammary tissue. And here we go with that language changing. Just because you cut off most of the titty doesn't mean the titty itself is gone. If there was no breast, they couldn't breastfeed. 
they're still able to lactate because the breast tissue that's there is still female tissue. Calling it a chest doesn't remove the glands that produce milk, for fuck's sake. But whether most participants had the surgery or not, the study found that nearly all of them avoided the term breast and preferred to call their upper torso their chest. When it came to feeding their children, however, there was a wide variety of terms used. Six participants used the term breastfeeding, four used the term nursing, three preferred chest feeding, and some used a combination of terms like mammal feeding and nursing or feeding and mammal feeding. Sebastian Sparks, a transgender dad, tells Romper that while he doesn't really use the term chest feeding to identify how he feeds his children, he doesn't like the term breastfeeding either. I don't like either. Breastfeeding makes me feel dysphoria, so I try not to use it very much, Sparks says. I just feed my kid like any other parent. It's not about how he gets the food. It's the fact that he has a full belly. And there it is. Did you catch it? Here, I'll play it again. Sebastian Sparks, a transgender dad, tells Romper that while he doesn't really use the term chest feeding to identify how he feeds his children, he doesn't like the term breastfeeding either. I don't like either. Breastfeeding makes me feel dysphoria, so I try not to use it very much, Sparks says. This is a woman who somehow got sperm into her uterus where it fertilized an egg. For nine months, this egg grew into a baby that came slip-sliding out of her vagina. She now feeds this baby with milk that she naturally produces from her breast. But it's the term breastfeeding that causes her dysphoria. Really? Splooge on your uterine wall? Manly. The word breastfeeding? Trigger. A child ripping its way into the world through your lady garden? Masculine. The word breastfeeding? Too feminine. Feeding a child with your breast? Wild dudes do that all the time. Calling it breastfeeding? That's too girly. Are you fucking kidding me? It's disturbing enough to know that people think this way. What's really mind-blowing is that we've reached a point in society where saying those same moronic thoughts out loud is perfectly acceptable. Okay, we're going to jump to the end because, sweet Jesus. If you want to read the whole article, as always, it's linked below. But he also mentions how breastfeeding products don't promote inclusivity. I hate, hate, hate nursing products with a burning passion, he says. I prefer to pump and store milk a lot because it's hard to nurse in public with a full beard. The milk storage bags all say mother's milk. It bugs me to no end because I'm not a mom. I'm a dad. To combat these feelings of dysphoria, Sparks said he has started crossing out the word mothers with a sharpie and started writing funny names like Batman. What the hell? Batman milk. Fucking Batman milk. Where the hell are my ducks? Breastfeeding as a transgender man can be difficult enough, but doing it in public can make it even harder. Sparks says that while at Walmart one day, his son became hungry, so he decided to just start feeding him. I couldn't stop to think what people would think of me. My son was hungry. That's all that mattered. So I fed him while walking around shopping, he says. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Cisgender or transgender, all parents want the same thing. They want their babies healthy, happy, and fed. If that means using the term chest feeding to make them feel comfortable, or using the term breastfeeding, it really doesn't matter. Like the debate between formula and breast milk, the best kind of baby is a fed baby, whether it's a mama or a daddy doing the feeding. Yes, feeding the child is the most important part of this, but if there's no difference between breastfeeding and chest feeding, what's your other point? This article seems designed to play to the delusions of this Sebastian Sparks chick. She can call herself in the action of feeding her child whatever the fuck she wants. She can call it shoe shining for all I care. Where it does become an issue for me is when we're told the rest of us have to play along with the delusion. She is a woman who had a baby and breastfeeds that child. Changing the names or pretending definitions don't exist won't change that. It is what it is. And I'm not buying for a second that this woman does all these female things, like having a child and breastfeeding it, but is somehow distraught over a goddamn word. At some point, we need to say enough is enough. Be as weird as you want, but thinking reality doesn't apply to you doesn't make you special. It makes you insane. We shouldn't be rewording language to appease a handful of delusional people. We should be stating the obvious. They're fucking crazy. Sebastian is a woman and she is breastfeeding. Hormones, breast surgery, and bullshit wording won't change that. And that's going to wrap up this one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and share it, even with people who might be annoyed by it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. For more monkey in your life, check the social media links. Or join me six nights a week as Scrab Light, Some Dumb American, and I tackle the news, discuss random topics, and take audience questions. The schedule's listed below. I've also started gaming with Satsu Two Cents over on his gaming channel Two Cents Plus on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time. Sebastian Sparks, a transgender dad, tells Romper that while he doesn't really use the term chest feeding to identify how he feeds his children, he doesn't like the term breastfeeding either. I don't like either. Breastfeeding makes me feel dysphoria, so I try not to use it very much, Sparks says. Your life makes me sad.